new information surrounding the appeal of Daniel Holtzclaw, the former Oklahoma City police officer convicted of sexually assaulting women while he was on duty. Now, last week we learned there had been an unusual closed hearing in district court, really raising questions about where the case is headed. Our Lisa Monahan has been digging for answers and even spoke with Holtzclaw himself today. Lisa? Yeah, Amanda, I was able to get an interview with Holtzclaw from his prison cell today, but that's not all. In an effort to understand what this hearing was all about, I requested surveillance video from inside the Oklahoma County Courthouse near the judge's chambers. The doors were locked. The public shut out of Judge Timothy Henderson's courtroom. Surveillance cameras capture a team of prosecutors, including the lead in Holtzclaw's trial, arriving ahead of the proceedings. Not even Daniel Holtzclaw or his defense were privy to information discussed during the two-day secret hearing. Now, for the first time, we're hearing from Daniel Holtzclaw in his own words, responding to the secrecy surrounding his appeal. I'm extremely upset about it because for my trial, the fair advice. And still to this day, it's that way. There were two full days where the secret hearing was going on and my lawyer wasn't allowed to be there. Let them know, know about it. Also, the lead prosecutor in my trial, who lied, gets to weigh in on a response or has his input. How is this any way, shape, or form fair to me? Not only should I be able to know what's going on on the, pub on the public, but the public has to know as well. If I was a hardworking taxpayer in Oklahoma, I'd be irate. I would be knocking on doors and trying to find an answer. More importantly for the audience out there listening, this can happen to you and my case can happen to you. A court order prevents the lead prosecutor and others Holtzclaw mentioned from responding to his allegations. And the reason for his case being returned to trial court remains a mystery due to documents filed under seal. However, surveillance cameras captured witnesses, including a civil attorney for the city. A deputy chief Johnny Coleman and OCPD's forensic lab supervisor Campbell Ruddick. I've never seen anything like this, so it's, it's something significant. Scott Adams represented Holtzclaw at trial and says, based on the people present for the hearing, it would be reasonable to assume it's related to the lab that provided DNA evidence in the case. But he says he can't fathom a scenario that deserves this level of secrecy. Now, Daniel Holtzclaw opened up on several other issues, including DNA evidence that's become a focus of his appeal. I'll have more on that tomorrow at 10. In the newsroom, Lisa Monahan, News 9.